bus drivers. Um, have we historically, I know the last year or so, uh, we have had trouble filling the position as we need. Um, is, is it just one bus driver that we feel like the division needs to do everything that it should be doing as far as that goes? or is We would love to have another bus driver that would um, reduce some of the uh, amounts of times that children are on the buses. We don't have a substitute bus driver. Uh, we have no one in the wings except for Mr. Bennett when we're in a, when a mess with, uh, with bus. We have plenty of buses. We don't have enough drivers, and I think that's a, a, pro a problem across the uh, Commonwealth of Virginia and the country, mm -hmm. finding bus drivers. We also need a maintenance helper because that position in the past has been filled. The person that retired was part-time bus, part-time maintenance. We will take, uh, we need both. And I'm not sure I'm a fan of the bus driver slash maintenance right. position, um, but it has worked in the past, and if that's what we have to have to make it work, we'll go that route um, once we have some approval on the budget. Sometimes it's the individual, too. Yes. You have an what individual that, that works well mm -hmm. in both of those yes. spots. Right. Sometimes you have an individual that is great in the maintenance arena that doesn't necessarily excel driving the bus. Yes. So. Yeah. But we've traditionally not had much trouble filling uh, the maintenance no. position no. or anything like that. But how much trouble have we been having, say, in recent history filling bus drivers? Monumental. Well, we always that's, have. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's, well, that stays on the website. Yeah. Now, maybe not a full time position, but certainly part time or substitute. I mean, it stays. It's and if you go north, south, east, or west, it's you are going to see a bus right. with a banner on the side saying we're hiring bus drivers. Exactly. Have we, have we uh, considered then, because I know it became an issue, I think even last year, we had some athletic teams that weren't able to ride a bus, and that may or may not have been directly because of bus drivers. I think we had some scheduling issues that caused problems too, but have well, we... And drivers too, that... that well, have, to have that. we considered at any point, or do we want to consider this year uh, some performance incentives? So there's lots of ways you can get creative well, we, with We retention. have talked about performance incentive because I know there have been some school divisions that have given folks a bonus if they will sign on. We've not historically done that. I'm not saying that we shouldn't consider that in the future. We do do our own bus driver training. Uh, Mr. Audie Bishop is our trainer. He can, we provide the training free of charge to any individual that wishes to uh, take that course. It's pretty stringent. It's about 40 hours of classroom and then it's also some required driving with Mr. Bishop. Um, so we've done all kinds of things, but maybe we're to the point where we need to consider. But we have restructured the position. Yes. And we don't we no longer hire bus driver custodians. And you know, it's a it's a minimal number. It, it, we we've restructured the position yes. and for the last two drivers we've hired and I think that's helped. I do, tremendously, I do as well. actually. Yeah. I do as well. Last year we had said something about advertisement. Like we we have advertised we? on Mr. Clark's website. Yeah. We Thank have. You. No, but I'm saying, are we going to put a bus up? I've talked to Ms. <laughs> I've talked to Ms. Perkins <laughs> about putting a bus, a sign on a bus. Mm -hmm. We can do that and see if we get something. We park one down at the uh, city garage where we park or behind the armories with a sign, bus well, driver. If, if we're at a point and we've been consistently having trouble, it, it sounds like we're it's both a, a hiring and a retention issue. I mean, we have a, a, at least a little bit of a revolving door. Or uh, not a retention no, issue, no. Not a retention Once issue. we get one, we we have been very fortunate. What about, you one. mentioned substitutes, what about attendance? I mean, are we having, because I know some, some school divisions and most of them are larger divisions that have, you know, dozens and dozens and dozens of drivers. Sometimes they're thrown into a pinch when they have, say, you know, seven or eight bus drivers that fall ill at the same time. So, no, we I don't, don't think that's no. it. I think the issue with us is, you know, we have these trips, and so we have to utilize right. our current people with overtime. Whereas, if we had more bus drivers, we wouldn't have to pay that yeah. overtime, we could just pay a substitute bus driver. Yeah. And if we had more bus drivers, part of the reason we cannot send some of these athletic trips out is because. 
our school days don't end early enough. Some of the, the uh, athletic right. events start in some of these, uh, like Highland County at five o'clock, and our last bus run out of Covington High School is quarter to four. So you have to kind of revolve. Ms. Perkins does a wonderful job of getting people to places, but sometimes we have asked people to reschedule, give us a half an hour, 45 minutes to get there. So another bus driver would help us with the, with the athletic trips. Uh, and the spring is a busy, busy time for athletic trips because there's softball, there's soccer, there's baseball, well, there's and, track. And time is also of the essence mm -hmm. for spring sports yes. because right. of, of darkness and yes. that sort of thing. So it's, it's critical yeah. that we have yeah. the flexibility to be able to get the kids there. So, I'm a I'm a fan. I mean, I'm, I won't uh, I won't go on and on and on about it. But I mean, I'm I'm a fan of of us because no bigger of a fleet than we have, no more drivers than we have. I think we could probably work some performance or incentives in there for bus drivers, and it it would not. I hope <laughs> it wouldn't throw numbers incredibly off kilter somewhere, but. Uh, I'd, I'd yeah. be interested to hear what anybody else thinks yeah. about that. Developing that substitute list too, um, yeah. I mean you have, um, especially for sports trips, et cetera, you know, if you have some drivers that drive for, you know, other agencies or something like that, I mean that's one way and that kind of helps, you know, you have your regular routes and stuff and then you have these other trips. Um, they might pick up some of that stuff, you know. Yes. Yeah. They're not a, they're not a regular sub on a route, but they would pick up an athletic trip right. here and there. Right. Could kind of ease some of that. But I did. I, I've heard in the past, and this has not been recently, but I've, I've I know that some of the bus drivers are driving their regular route all day, getting back to the school, going on a, a trip, and coming back, fueling up the bus at 11:30 midnight back out there at 5.30 a.m. to get the bus started so they can get their route going the next day. Yeah. So. And from just sort of just cursory searching around about what, at least publicly, other divisions, and it, it, like I said, you don't have to search very deep to find there's school divisions across the country that have the exact same issue. Um, and where it would be a major, major budget issue is, again, when you have a very large division small changes in incentives you know can throw lots of things out of kilter but i think for us I, there are probably lots of creative things that we could do from a from an incentivizing bus driver position because uh, that's i mean it's it, like you said uh, melinda it, spring puts a big stress on it as well mm -hmm. big time uh, and it's, it seems like we're having that now this you know i don't think that problem's going to go away for us so no, we may want to consider it's not, no. um, doing whatever we can to incentivize and get people to the position. Yeah. So, so when did it stop being the slash, the janitor the slash? Last, the last two bus drivers, as Ms. Rebecca said, yeah. we, we were only able to get people that wanted to be a bus driver. Uh, one of them. The second one we didn't feel because we didn't think that possibly that that was something we were ready to do. So we have we have one bus driver that's been with us. This is the third year he's been with us and he's only a bus driver. And this new one we hired because we didn't fill the maintenance position is just a bus driver at the moment. Now that could change, but we just need a bus driver. Um, and we are still a little worried about ending the money with an ending the year with enough money this year. So and their rate of pay is different. Yes, they're rated. The, 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 yeah. No, I, no, I understand, but I I knew at one time you had to you had to do both. That and I didn't know when that stopped because then it started again. Yeah. So yeah. I was just that, curious. That, that, that we have two different. We have bus drivers and then we have bus drivers custodians. We have both. Right. Right. But I, I wasn't, Mr. Long, our former superintendent, was a big fan of bus drivers slash custodians right. to make sure that they worked an eight hour day. So that sort of was when it started. And, and I, sort of I felt like okay. in order to get bus drivers, we didn't need to always have that to be 
Right. Well, I think like Bert said, it's one thing if you have somebody who that's that what their feels. intention is and, and they've got experience in that, that's what they want to do. I don't I don't mind us as a division being flexible and allowing that, but Again, I think if, if we're more moving away, and I agree, I think it's probably more straightforward to separate those two as opposed to try to combine them, but we may end up finding ourselves needing to, and it, it may not be just pure salary you know, bump. I mean, it, when you talk about incentives, you know, the, the folks that don't miss days, there, there's incentives you can offer for that because like you said, like we were talking about substitute list, uh, one bus driver, even in a division as small as ours, if, if they have an illness or are, aren't able to show up, what, what sort of calamity does that cause us? It's, it's actually, it's a domino effect. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's, it may be worth our while to discuss, you know, so that I, at some So I've made some notes uh, to, okay. for about bus drivers to look at our substitute driver and see if we can increase our pool, uh, see about some type of incentive to get a bus drivers uh, advertised, and perhaps get that sign on the side of some of our buses. So, uh, just to put it out there while we're looking for um, to start the next school year. Right. So, 